In this open shot tutorial I will show you how to create widescreen cinemascope style videos. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in open shot. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've brought this video clip into OpenShot and I've also dragged it into the timeline. Um, I'm using the, come up to view here, and then left click next to views, I'm using the advanced view. Um, so views, down to views, and then left click advanced views. And you'll get all this malarkey comes up. OK. Now, this is a standard high definition video clip with a height of 1080 high. So from top to bottom is 1080. And I want to chop the top and bottom. Now, there's two ways you can do this. If you come to the right of the screen and then look in the box, this is underneath effects, well, down your left mouse button on crop and drag it over to your video clip and it didn't work for some reason now to try it again there you go it will do this so look for the actual button it's like a little C and just left click on this and this will bring up the properties of your crop now first of all what it's done is it's cropped the from left to right so first thing I want to do is take where it says um, left side 0.10 I'm going to just drag this back to 0 and I'm going to drag the right side back to 0 so we've got this which is almost um, a sort of cinema scope crop but not quite in fact you won't get it a hundred percent right but if in the box next to the left side where it says 0 0.10 you left click and type in 0 0.13 hit return and then in the top side hit 0 0.13 you won't be far out that's is near it, it's not a hundred percent accurate but it's as near as damn it um, and then you're good to go to render your video now the other way people do it is actually by creating masks um, and this you can then if I just show you a mask this is a mask I've created um, using a different video editor um, I do some video editor video editing in Blender because it has the option to use proxy video clips which makes for a lot easier when you're doing a lot of video clips and I won't go into too much detail so this transparent point is um, 817 and obviously to the top and bottom is 1080 so I created this in Blender I've, I will leave a link to this in the description below um, how I created this in Blender but obviously you will need to upload Blender onto your um, computer but that's the other way of doing it so if I remove the effect nothing changes unfortunately so with this I found I've got to go back into it to use a mask so I'm just going to close this down and re-enter um, it okay well I've restarted um, open shot and brought the clip back in again um, now I'm just going to take this down to track 3 and I'm going to drag this into the project file now the first thing you'll see is it will say something like would you like to import mask to blah blah so just left click no now if you bring down your mask into the top track slam it to the beginning you'll end up with something like this um, 
the only other thing is making it the same length as the bottom clip so what I would do is I would just hold my left mouse button down over the mask and you've got these buttons here these orange sort of arrows here so left click neck to next marker sorry you want to select your clip next marker then right click on the um, image uh, sorry left click on the image to select it then right click and next to slice left click keep left side and you're good to go that should be a reasonably accurate um, cinemascope um, size video clip inside a 1080 um, video so there's not much else I can show you on this I think so won't go into rendering like I said at the beginning I assume you have a basic understanding of open shot so I'll leave this as is hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching